boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. I think Caillou forgot about us. Dinosaurs are big and strong, but I don't think you're meant to be forgotten outside all night. I don't think teddy bears are either. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's dark and spooky. Uh. <gasps> teddy, what? Teddy, don't what? look now. Don't Where? look back. Don't what? look back. Okay. Teddy, what? that's the eye of the biggest dinosaur-eating dragon I've ever seen in my whole life. Um... Do you think he eats teddy bears, too? Daddy, I want to cook, too. Sorry, Caillou, but the barbecue is too hot. Why don't you go play with Rosie until dinner's ready? <laughs> look, Mommy, look! Oh, no! Yuck! Why don't you go see if Grandma needs some help in the kitchen while I make sure there are no more ants around? Okay, Mommy! Grandma, what are you doing? I'm making my special top secret potato salad. Top secret? Shh! <laughs> Shh! You can be my taste tester. Yummy! What a beautiful night! I think I see the evening star. Wow, it's pretty. This reminds me of the time I saw a shooting star. A shooting star? It's a star that flies across the sky like a bird. It's like magic. Well, Caillou, let's get back to work. Come and get it. Yum! Look, a shooting star. Wow! What a beauty! Where? It was just there a second ago. Grandpa, there was a shooting star outside, but it's gone. I'm sure there'll be more. Well, let's go see. Look, Caillou, there goes another one. Where? I want to see. <sighs> Don't feel bad. Shooting stars are very fast and hard to spot. Caillou still wanted to see a shooting star. He decided he would wait as long as he had to. I'm sorry you missed the shooting star, Caillou. Why don't we look at the moon instead? Yay! I want to see the moon! <gasps> the moon is big! You see this group of stars? That's called the Big Bear. I can't see a bear. Oops. Let's see, where were we? Here we go. And that one's the Little Dipper. See you soon. Look quick, Caillou. Oh, I missed it again. Don't worry, Caillou. There'll be other shooting stars some other night. Caillou wasn't sure he would ever see one. He felt sad. Time for bed, Caillou. It's late. Nighty night. Good night, stars. Wow! <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Uh, about the monster? Okay, um, um, let's sing. Sing? Uh -huh. that, that way we won't be afraid. <laughs> don't, don't, Teddy, don't. Okay, I'm gonna sing. <laughs> Sometimes when it's dark, it seems a little scary. I think of great big spooky things and... Monsters big and hairy. Hairy? <laughs> the secret is, Teddy, be silly. Do almost anything at all. Make it silly, wacky, crazy, cracky. I'll do it with a grin. Oh, if it doesn't work the first, I'll do it all again. <laughs> okay, Teddy, now, now we've got to do it. <laughs> Hi, 
Leo, what have you got there? It's my new rocket! Wow! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> We're spacemen! I thought you might be. We're going to the moon! <laughs> Just make sure you come back in time for lunch, okay? <laughs> Can you play with Teddy? I don't want to. The moon's this way. <laughs> Whoa, spacemen, slow down a bit. Rosie really wanted to play with Caillou and Leo. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. There's a planetarium opening tomorrow. I think I know a couple of spacemen who'd be interested in that. <laughs> Me too. And look, they're having a contest for the best space costume. A space costume? Hmm. Are <laughs> you playing with Teddy? No, Rosie! <laughs> I know you want to play with them, sweetie. Tell you what, why don't we find a game we can play? <laughs> we could make space costumes. <laughs> Have you heard the news? They're opening a planetarium. What's that? Well, let's see. It's a kind of movie theater where you can see stars and planets inside. Wow. Can we go? I don't see why not. Would you like to come too? <laughs> I'll call your mom. There's a contest, too. A contest? Yes, for the best space costume. Leo, you look just like a spaceman. And I'm a space monster! Caillou, Mommy told me you made Rosie cry today. I know you don't always want to play with Rosie, but she is your sister, so you always have to be kind to her. Okay, Daddy. Come on, finish your milk. It's time for bed. <laughs> You've got milk on your lip. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You do look like you've been to the Milky Way. What's the Milky Way? Well, let's see. It's, um, it's the galaxy containing the solar system. It's a place in space where there are millions and millions of stars. Just what I need. What do you want those for? It's a secret. Caillou really wanted to know what Mommy's secret was. What Caillou and his daddy didn't know was that Mommy was making space costumes, too. Perfect. Why are there stars? Um, I, uh, hmm. Night, night, Daddy. That night, Caillou dreamed all about the stars and the planets and the Milky Way. You? Do you like my costume? I'm going to win the contest. Welcome to the planetarium, everyone. Wow. I have a special game for you today. Look, I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> Can you do this? That's great. <laughs> and over here is the Milky Way. 
And now something extra special. Walking on the moon. This is the moon. And here come the moonwalkers. Wow, we're on the moon. And that's the end of our show. Except for just one more thing. The contest for the best space costume. And the prize goes to... Rosie and Rosie's Mommy! So that's what Mommy wanted the oven mitts for. Congratulations! You have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not afraid of monsters. It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. Yes, but there was a flying monster and a scratchy monster. It's in my room. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou. was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? 
Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. <sighs> I hope there won't be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou. Caillou. <laughs> oh, oh, Teddy, Teddy. We better run for the bushes. I have never seen a monster so big. This song, this song isn't working. Okay, let's back up. <laughs> but, but what if he catches us? Oh, oh, well, he will if we stay here. Daddy, run quickly. <laughs> I love camping. Okay. They're building a campfire. A fire needs lots of wood. Rocks keep the fire safe. A beautiful campfire needs two things. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Sticky, but so good. And after the snack, a little bit of music. Nighttime. It's so magical. Whoa! Big telescope. Great for watching the stars. And the best is, when you camp out, you get to sleep in a tent. Good night, everybody. Now he's right on top of us. Oh, no, no, no. He's far too hungry and ferocious and frightening and... Hi! <laughs> First time I've seen you guys out at night. <laughs> oh, yes, it is a beautiful night. <laughs> moon! Moon? Moon? The moon, big, round, hangs in the sky, but only at night when the sun goes down. That all this time I was afraid of the moon and not a monster? Oh, but see, I, I, I thought it was the eyeball of the biggest dinosaur eating monster I've ever seen in my whole, whole life. Oh. Rexy, uh -huh. have you ever seen a monster? Uh, well, no, not actually seen, but I've heard about them. Uh. I think I figured out why Rexy thought it was a monster. Why? Oh. Because never in his whole life has Rexy ever seen the moon. Uh -huh. Some new things are scary the first time. Hmm. When is she coming? She'll be here any minute. Come in, Grandma. I can't fit. Oof. Grandma, <laughs> you're too big. <laughs> Grandma was Caillou and Rosie's favorite babysitter in the whole world. Hi, kids. What have you got there, Rosie? <laughs> After Mommy and Daddy left, Grandma played games with Caillou and Rosie. La, 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 la. <laughs> and then it was bedtime. While Grandma read Rosie a story and put her to sleep, Caillou washed his face and brushed his teeth. Then he went to bed and waited for Grandma to come and read him a story. Grandma! <laughs>
Once upon a time, there was a... While Grandma was reading the story, Caillou got sleepier and sleepier. Night, night. Gilbert, ow! <sighs> Caillou was wide awake again. And he couldn't get back to sleep no matter what he did. He tried rearranging his pillow. But that didn't help. It was summer, and it was still daylight outside. How could Caillou sleep when his room was so bright? Oof. Sleeping the wrong way around didn't work. Caillou really couldn't sleep. And now he was feeling quite cranky. Caillou, you're all mixed up. Your head is where your feet should be. Mm, Grandma, I can't sleep. Well, I'm not surprised. It's too bright in here. And I can see why. You don't have any curtains. Where are they? Oh, yes, I remember. Your mommy took them to the cleaners. I have an idea. Caillou was very curious about Grandma's idea. There you are, Caillou. A night sky. Now you'll be able to sleep. Thank you, Grandma. But if it's a night sky, I think something's missing, don't you? Ready, Caillou? Wow! Caillou's night sky was so beautiful and dreamy that he fell asleep very quickly. It sure did look like a monster, but I'm glad it wasn't. Mm, so am I. I wish you would have let me look. I'd have known it was the moon. Oh, I didn't want you to be as afraid as I was. Oh, that was nice of you. <laughs> Sometimes being afraid doesn't make any sense. <laughs> now that I know about the moon, I can see how beautiful it is. It is. And it's nicest when you share it with friends. Play safely, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. I like playing with my grandpa. One time, we looked at the moon way up in the sky. Grandpa knows how to make things. We even made a tent once. And my grandpa gives the best hugs. Grandma. We have loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. <laughs> Let's go.